end. Um, I'm not talking like English folks yet. Uh, let me um, turn this camera around. Double tap the screen. It doesn't work. Let me just turn it down like so. Okay. All right. There's my cozy little bed. I think it's a sofa bed. Uh, Bob will be in later. Oh, we got some business happening. I didn't take my fancy rings off because we just got done doing a review. Uh, we did a challenge earlier and did, and we was going to do a smaller challenge uh, to get an action-packed day in, but the smaller challenge fell through, so we made something happen, and we found out about a nice uh, curry, uh, place that makes curry and everything. It's a uh, Indian place, uh, not a uh, feather, but dot. Um, I'm not even sure. I just do that so you know, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, I am going to go to YouTube to see how many people are in here. I'm using my computer. Hopefully this signal is good. Uh, folks, I'm doing the best that I can with the signal um, around here in Europe. Uh, but I got here yesterday. Bob got here today. So Bob is already action-packed. And here it is 1240 a.m., so I might need to talk a little bit lighter because I think these walls are pretty thin um, in here. Um, I'm still trying to pull up the live. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go into the live. And here we go. Okay. Well, thank you very much for everyone to tune in on this Friday um, in Eastern time. It is 640 Eastern time. Uh, I want to thank the, uh, I would say I want to thank the moderators, but I do not see, whoa, whoa, see Herman. Herman is the lone moderator in here right now. Well, Herman Wells, thank you very much for, uh, for doing the duty on this Friday night. Um, I appreciate it. There we go. Um, I got a little, got a little curry down here, a little saffron or whatever they call that stuff that makes it yellow. Um, but uh, we got a guy named Eli in the house. Let's say we got Lizzie. How you doing, Tara, Connie, Ed, uh, Michelle, Matt, Desert Love. Janine, how you doing? Hugh, Spa versus Spa, a guy named Eli, Matthew Fallbush, um, Leah, how you doing? Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. John, how you doing? Leanne, we have Jay, Anthony, Rhoda, RC Upgrade, what is happening, man? Um, Brian. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it now. Everybody's jumping in. Taco, Annie, Francis, Isaac, Denise, my other brother, Daryl, Mary. Thank you very much for tuning in to help moderate. Tony, Sean, Loki, uh, QA, Easy, um, Jesse, and Jerry. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. I can't uh, keep going down the list because I do want to tell you guys. Uh, I wasn't going to do a challenge this morning, but I'm glad I, I, I done it. Um, fell or not, um, had to get some content in, so you, you'll have to wait to see what happened uh, with Man vs. Food uh, London. Man vs. Food London or London Man vs. Food. Uh, it is. Uh, it was like a nine-pound burger, and um, if you won, you won... 350 GBS. That is equivalent to like 400 and something dollars American money. But you have to pay $116 a piece um, American money. So it's $80 GBS. Or if you're hip around here, you call it quid. So I know my buddy Adam, uh, our buddy Adam Moran, Beer Meets Food, calls it quid because he is so hip. Um, he knows words that people around here don't even know because they was like, what is that? So I, I was shouting, throw, trying to talk some gibberish. They say that around here too, some gibberish around here. Rubbish, not gibberish, rubbish. Uh, okay, Damien just jumped in as well as the Roberts. Emnid Tinty. 
I might even say that quick and might come out to be a bad word. Some people do try to trick me and and put words, I'm not sure. Emnidtenti. Emnidtenti. Okay. Mike Russell, what is happening? Tommy. And no fear, Tommy's here. New York Tyrant Hunter. Okay. Um, let me see if I got any questions so far. Do you have any questions about you, you, the UK? How's the UK? Well, it is lovely except the traffic and the driver. I haven't drove it. I haven't driven yet. So my time is a coming. Um, but um, we made it. We made it good. Um, and uh, I'm not sure about all the, the taxes here or with the driving. You got to a congestion tax, some kind of driving tax, some other kind of tax, but health insurance is free. You got to get you somewhere, folks. Is Bob sleeping? No, he. we just got back like five minutes ago. Um, he's just saying hi now because he's still doing stuff, but he could jump in later if he wants. We got another microphone. Um, he is alive and well, um, so I'm glad you saw him. Um, and we still have some, some Indian food here. Uh, I was trying to look for a airplaneless person outside and let them have some food because we're gonna, I don't wanna waste the food. It was really good food. And whatever these are called again, I don't know, but I'm gonna snack on these tonight. Pon pons or something? Start with a P. Start with a P. And it was like the same word word. So, guys, you know what this is. It tastes kind of like a, a, an aerated, crispy sun chip. Is that what they're called, sun chips? Popa Doms. Papa Doms. Bing, 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 bing. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, every time I go there, I'm going to ask for some pom-poms. They're going to know what I'm talking about. Some of them onion things, like hush puppies. Um, Leanne says, the weather, though, what's that like? Um, there is sun, there is rain, there's wind, there's clouds. It's kind of like the U.S. Um, it rained a little bit. It didn't rain all day. It just rained for two hours, and then the sun came out, and then it sprinkled a little bit. It's not, wasn't, didn't have to use the umbrella at all yet. I bet you had a long flight. Um, it was... Eight, I want to say seven hour, seven and a half hour flight. Hello, Jarrett. Thanks for tuning in, as well as Natasha Shank to help out the moderation. Appreciate it. Um, do I have any other questions about? I'm trying to scroll back up. If you if you asked a question um, about anything on this live, hey Luigi, how you doing? Uh, if any about. Uh, any question, please ask it again if I missed it. Um, it says, hey, at Amber. Amber Lessig's in the house. What is happening? Hey, Chad. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, Matt says he already smashed the like button. Uh, Mike Russell says, got to smash some fish and chips challenges. Break all bread. Beards record, not breads. Beards records. Uh, we're not coming here to beat beard at anything. We're here to go to the establishment and if we're hungry that day, we will we will tear it up. That's what she said. But if we are not, we'll we'll mingle, talk, and and not try to pay for it. Uh, but I think speaking of Beard, we might be meeting him maybe tomorrow or the next day. Um, he was just asking if we were going to be available. Um, so maybe he might meet us somewhere. Maybe he doesn't have anything to do. Uh, maybe he might hobnob with the peasants. Um, so we will see. I met the taxi, uh, as soon as I got here, I met a taxi cab driver. Um, his name's Peter. He goes by the name Tomo. His nickname's Tomo. I have really good chat with him. I've got him on camera. So I need to do um, a banger and mash because he said normal people eat two. I said, oh, I need to eat three. He goes, no, you need to eat more than that. So if we find some bangers and mash and we're not doing a challenge, we're going to try to do four, five, six, seven, eight of them um, and um, see how that works because uh, uh, we need to do uh, 
uh, he, he spoke very highly of the bangers and mash and the roast on Sunday. So Sunday, if something falls through on a Sunday, we need to try to find like a roast. That's what they do on Sundays around here, I think. His eyeballs went kind of up in his eye socket because he said it's like heaven and his eyeballs came missing. They was like missing. He was driving, but it, just for a little bit. Uh, so uh, I want to thank Peter if he's watching this video. Um, thank you for subscribing to the channel if you did. If you didn't, well, thank you for the uh, uh, the taxi chat. Uh, Italian says, bet those tickets were pricey. Um, they can get pricey if you know how to save money and use apps and do stuff. You might can get it pretty cheap. Maybe. You can get any plane ticket from like maybe 1500 to 2500 to 3000 depending on which seats you want to sit in. I didn't sit in any of the 3000s. Um, the, uh, if you sign up and get points and earn points, you can get the trip as low as $200. Just saying. Um, you have to pay. It's free, but you have to pay the taxes on the 2000 So it's like, $200 taxes or something like that. Uh, but you know, you got to have to spend money to get the the, the points. Uh, next year when I go to Australia, I might be going to Australia for about $400, $300, $400. But you got to earn the points. Um, so this, this, this trip here is like 48,000 points on the AA Visa credit card deal or MasterCard, whatever it is. So you have to spend a lot of money to, 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 to save a lot of money. But using the, the credit card to get the points, if you pay it off every month, you're not, you're just buying stuff you need to buy anyway and getting free points. Um, Tommy says there are good strip clubs there. Just asking, is there any, or you're asking a question. I don't know. Um, I used to go with a stripper and a long time ago. Um, I think I was like 16, maybe 16, 17, maybe. I don't know, maybe 16. But I never gave money to strippers. I, I just don't do it. I don't give my money to people dancing with their clothes off. Um, I, it's just like gambling to me. And it's like a for sure loss because you're losing your money. So I don't, I don't do strip clubs. I've never, never done strip clubs. James says, Brandon, do you like corn cob? Corn on the cob? Um, I like corn on the cob, but we have that ever in the United States. Corn cobs. Is that a special thing here? Yes, everyone um, coming in, please hit the like button if you like the videos to help help uh, share the algorithm. If you're in the UK, we have a, a trip itinerary up. If you look my community news, uh, look up the community news and check that out. Uh, I will try to put that uh, put that community news up for you here in a second once I find it, and then uh, you can check out the. Uh, where we're going to be at the next couple of days. Uh, we did, did have some nice folks come out to watch the challenge today, two groups uh, of, of, of uh, UK followers, and uh, they didn't get to see the challenge, but we did get to meet them outside of the, the uh, Raj. Uh, we went to Raj uh, Indian Cuisine, um, and uh, one of the groups, uh, the uh, the gentleman, his wife, and his son, they stayed and watched the whole review. So I really appreciate them uh, staying for that. Um, I am um, going to my community news real quick, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that link now. So if you guys want to check out what we're doing, just scroll down the timeline. You're going to see, I think, a picture of the UK. Um, and once you see that picture of the red UK deal, then um, it, the itinerary, just click see more. Uh, not Little Shop of Horror, but see more, and then it'll show you what we're doing if you are in the area of the um, uh, United Kingdom. 
Um, John says, is Bob sleeping? No, Bob uh, is not sleeping for you that just tuned in. If he was sleeping, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this live because it would be really rude. Uh, but he is getting ready um, to, to come over here and chat with you guys for about 10 minutes before we go to bed. Uh, I have some over-the-counter sleeping pills. I think I'm going to go ahead and take them now. So give me one second because it takes me about an hour to go to sleep after I take these sleeping pills. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that, uh, do that now and get that over with. I don't know where the hell they're at. I had a whole, um, oh, here they go. Yeah, when you got ADHD, you need a little help sleeping. These should just equate, equate sleeping pills. And guess what, folks? Gas might be a little pricey here. Guess how much this costs. Just guess how much this costs. It's it's a diet soda, and this is a grocery store around here, Tesco. Excuse me. This is this costs a half a pound, a half a pound, a little less. It's 0.49 pounds. So I think this might be 70, 70 cents possibly 70 cents for this big deal yes 70 cents so that's a really good deal eight dollars natasha said eight dollars yes that that's that's like the best deal ever over here that we found so far tara was closest with one one pound. Lonnie is just missing out, but being here. Okay, Lonnie, Lonnie, RC, let me see, RC upgrade. Is that the new YouTube name, RC? Okay. Lonnie is, let me see. The great Hambino, I see what you did that. You are still the Skyline Chili champ. I've I've never had Skyline Skyline Chili. I don't want to try any other chili in Cincinnati. If that's Cincinnati, and I think Skyline Cincinnati, Cincinnati chili sucks. I'm going to say that for the record. I've did two food challenges in a row. There's no dang way you need to put cinnamon or nutmeg. In freaking chili. It just because your Cincinnati name has C's and N's in it, and so does cinnamon, you don't have to put that in the cin in the chili. Cincinnati chili sucks. I apologize. I'm just call it like it is, okay? You might not like Miracle Whip and you're still okay with me. I mean, you have to eat your sandwich with mayo, and speaking of mayo, people here love the hell out of some mayo. I had some coleslaw. It was more mayo than lettuce. I'm not lying. It was like eating spoonfuls of mayo with shreds of little, just a little bit of lettuce in there. I'm not lying. I am not lying one bit. <clears throat> okay. Connie, let me see, Connie, let me see what you said, Connie. I didn't, I haven't been, um, I've been up swallowing sleeping pills and stuff. Connie says she asked three times. I'm going all the way up to how many coffees did you buy? One coffee at the airport. One coffee. Um, I sit there and nobody showed up to see me. Not one soul in the UK. I was buying free coffees. I bought one coffee for me. And I sat there, nobody showed up. Um, I had about eight people said they were going to show up. The only thing good came out of it, I saved some money. But I would rather spend the eight so I can meet and shake hands to people that follow the channel over here in Ladonian, uh, in the Ladonian area. Um, there are some people that want us to go towards where they live and... We did, uh, we did fly 4,000 miles to come here, so 
the least people could do if they live two hours away is drive to one of the locations where we're going to be at. That's about the best we could do. We can't go off course. Tonight we did drive two hours and we found out the place was closed. Uh, it's not the establishment's fault um, because they did email Bob and Bob took credit for not, not reading the email. The email was kind of sketchy, splotty, like something in, in Europe, so he had to reset his phone. But he did get the email about 10, 20, about 30 minutes before we got to the place. We were already driving there, and there were some people there going to watch us, so we wanted to meet them, so we drove all the way there anyway. Then we made something happen because we found out that they had a good uh, Indian cuisine place, and we got a review there. So that review will be coming out before May the 20th. All the videos that I'm doing here, is going to start May, or, or both of them. Bob's is go, coming out Friday. Mine's coming out Saturday because I want to keep the Friday Night Live as is. I don't want to switch it and say, okay, Friday Night Live's on Saturday. That, that don't sound right. It'll be Saturday Night Live, and they already have a show. Um, so uh, I'm going to put my videos out, and we're not putting them out in, in order. So he's going to put his out different different times. I'm going to put mine out different, so they're not going to be the same videos. So you're going to see the two of the same videos, but different editing styles, two different dates, okay? Uh, thank you. Um, Get On With It Gaming says, welcome to England. Thank you very much. Lee, Lee Ann says, I want to see a stealth in the UK. Um, a lot of people do, and I'm just not going to do it. Um, I got two lime green suitcases, and I had two backpacks. Uh, not too much uh, stealth camping uh, with that. Um, and I'm not going to stealth camp in the, in the airport because it's easy to do that. Just go to sleep in a chair, lay on the floor and go to sleep. I did all that, and nobody wakes you up. So I, I'm not going to do a stealth. Uh, I decided to get a room last night, and I got it here at the same hotel we're here now. Um, so I just got the room for two nights instead of one. Um, I got a video edited uh, on the plane in Memphis uh, because I did a challenge at the airport in Memphis while I waited to come to the first flight to Charlotte. Um, I got here. I did a video uh, for you guys this morning. So I have a video, edit. I need to edit that, I'm halfway through. Um, got a video of a nine pound burger challenge. Um, you have to see how that went. And then uh, a review. So I already got four videos that's in two days. Uh, so we're, we're planning to get about 20, about 15 to 20 videos a piece. So I do wanna thank all you guys that donated to help out with this trip every video is going to have your name in the video um, the first video is not in the uk it was actually before the first airplane that was a sponsor video um, so i wanted to to do that video because i actually forgot at the jack browns in memphis i had a lot of stuff going on one worrying about catching the flight making sure i had everything i forgot to shout someone out on a video that I was supposed to do for that video. Um, lots of things going on. So what I did was a voiceover shout out. And to me, that's not a shout out. That's just like, I can do that on any video and just put words in there. So I didn't count that one. I just did that to recognize them. And then I did two videos extra. So they get the shout out voiceover. They got two videos of me talking in the video, shouting them out. Uh, so I did want to make up for that. Um, I do have a Greg's bakery to do um, i have a greg's bakery um, um that's sponsored i think shannon lee had sponsored a fish and chips or something is it fish and chips fish and chips crunchy so a crunchy fish and chips so we got shannon lee uh we have one two i got it uh the one that greg's um, I need to uh, do a shout out there as well. I got it wrote down, um, but I don't want to forget anybody that's helped out on this trip. I do thank you guys. And for the ones that just like and subscribe and share, you guys all help me get to where I'm at now. I'll probably be at 100,000 subscribers by the time I come back from this trip. I brought my magnets, no joke. I brought magnets, the smaller magnets. They're still pretty, 
pretty nice size. Um, and I might get a lot of complaints on my comments after this. Uh, Bob was driving, but I might get yelled at that this bloke doesn't know how to drive. To stick to eating, don't drive. But I wasn't driving, so I'm going to have to figure all that out. I'll tell him I let my blind dog drive, and I was just, you know, trying to get my, my service dog. <laughs> so, it wasn't me. So, but Bob, Bob's still here, folks. But Bob is not asleep yet, because I wouldn't be talking like this. Uh, but in the next 20 minutes or so, I will be. Do you want to grab a mic or you? I was still trying to get ready for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, he just got here. here. He's not even unpacked his bag yet. Yeah. So. Thanks, Connie. Connie says, I'm all over Pinterest. She's been hooking me up on Pinterest. Thank you very much, uh, The Cuz View. Appreciate that. Sam White says, for two nights, I don't unpack. How do you get stuff out of your bag? Yeah, if I'm here, I don't even stay in hotels, but when I do, I unpack my whole bag like I'm living here. I, I'm just, that's my OCD. I take everything out. Um, I didn't even, I, I kind of, I didn't take all my clothes out of my bag because I didn't need all of them. I already had the ones I needed on top, but all my, you have to unpack all your, um, your cameras and everything because all your batteries and stuff have to be on your carry-on and then the other heavier stuff needs to be in your your other bag so we have to unpack our bags to get all of our equipment that we bring i got five tripods i got two cell phones i have all these microphones you won't even believe the big battery like this that's the external battery um, i have my other big microphone i have two gopros i got a book bag um, so I had to take all that out, dissect it, uh, put all the external hard drives and everything situated. Um, but, but yeah, have to unpack a little bit. Oh. Max says, have you got any drone footage? Um, I'm not, I didn't bring a drone here. I don't want to deal with any kind of other laws that I don't know about over here. Uh, I don't want to deal with anything like that. So, uh, Best not to bring that. Um, c coming overseas with certain things, you might, I would say get confiscated, but you might get a lot of talking to with having a lot of drones these days. I want to think you're trying to steal uh, British. British. Yeah. Uh, Carbucci, uh, Ricardo had got in, in trouble. Not in trouble, but he got detained. <laughs> He got detained in Las Vegas. It's not funny, but he got detained in Las Vegas because he had it by the swimming pool. And then, but come to find out, the security guards didn't know the law, and they did. And the police came says, "What do you got him detained for? He didn't do anything wrong." So, um, I didn't just want to get off into that, be detained for two days, and we're, you know, you know, we can't do what we got to do. Um, yeah, I brought the big rings. Uh, I lost. I lost this one for a while and because i took it out i took it out of my um my my plaque deal that i had for bob and it says in case of emergency break glass well i had it inside and when i moved i don't want this to break the glass because it's pretty heavy um so so this this one here so this one here i didn't want it so i had it in my props i had a box called props so i put it in that box um so i I couldn't find it. I bought this one from Amazon, and then I found this one. I was going to send this back, but I said, you know what? No, I need two of them. So that's how the story goes. It's pretty, I'm going to say it's almost a pound right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I spell everything wrong because I was in a hurry doing this uh, live. But yes, I did spell first wrong, and uh, I just fixed it. But you'll see it later on. The uh, it might just get more clicks because people have to. So, there are grammar police out there, so 
some people know what you mean. They still have to correct you. And I always say to people, like, and I'll mess with people in my comments when they do that, and I spell things wrong on purpose. Like, I did one stealth. Uh, I did one stealth of the golf course, and I spelled course wrong just to, uh, just to mess with people. But I didn't mess with anybody right there. But some people do, do correct folks, and um, sometimes I have fun with it. But I thank you for, for letting me know I did, uh, I did uh, change it. I think it's already changed on here, ain't it? It's already changed. Look at that. Jay Bone says, tomorrow the barbecue pits are rolling now. Um, I'm in London, so I think I'm not going to be. <laughs> I think I'm going to miss that. Uh, I already told the Blazing Barbecue. I already told them I'm not coming this year. Um, I did know that it was going to be coming out, and I told them I won't be. Uh, I won't be at the contest. And when I go to some of them contests like that, um, I hope you guys have fun. Uh, but I, I told them I don't do it every year because I don't want to take the fun out of it for Earthlings. So I don't we'll just want to win every year. So I just let other people win. And maybe in a few years, I might come back and do one more, uh, something like that. Just to, I'll just do it for promotions to get my name out there uh, and just have a good time. DGB, what is happening? Sergio, how you doing? Sergio says, cheers from Maryland. Brandon, we miss you in the States. Just kidding. Yes, uh, I've only been gone a day or two. I don't think uh, too many people's missing me. I think Paula is the only one missing me, really. Uh, my mom says she's not happy. She's not eating her junk food. And uh, she's just not. I called her a little while ago. Um, a whopping 20 cents a minute. I got it right under the two-minute mark the last time I called her. I'm not sure if I should be proud about that. <laughs> but it was 40 cents. So, but I called her before. Um, it was a minute. So next time I'll call for three minutes and then maybe four minutes and gradually work up to that dollar. But I the, 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 the truth of the matter, folks, is I called, okay? That's all that counts. It's the thought that counts. Um... Hey, Bronson Wally, how you doing? Hey, Sam White. Hey, John. Um, hey, uh, Bareface Studios. How was the flight? Flight was lovely, um, except they have, they have the seats in the cheap, the cheap people seats. They have it just enough to hurt your neck. They have it just enough, so you you got you like you know what? Next time I'm flying, I'm flying where Bob's flying up front. I think Bob has a trick, though. He says, can I get a seatbelt extender? I was thinking about asking. <laughs> can I get a seatbelt extender? Then they don't have one. So, you know what? We'll get you up there in coach or something. Is that how it happens? Or business. Coach is where I was at, right? Is coach? Sure. I'm like, no, you're basic. Basic. <laughs> basic. That reminds me of that, that one guy that, uh, that, 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 on TikTok, when you ever saw the foot it goes like this? He call everybody calling all the basic bitches. You ever saw that? Yeah, you probably have to look. It probably still on there, but his leg goes like that. It was on Ellen Degenerate. Yes. Every time I hear that basic, mile high guy, what is happening? Um, we got a long comment up here. Let's read some of this. Mary says, please be considerate and do not use any profanity as this is a family channel. And I just said the B word, my bad. So please do not follow what I do. Regulating 9 o'clock news says, new subscriber since last night. Love what you're doing. You seem very genuine. I'll be watching from Fort Worth, Texas. Come by anytime you get a chance. Well, I will be going, I think, maybe by Fort Worth, uh, Houston, and Dallas this year, possibly. I don't know yet. Uh, it might be next, but I would like to go down there and go to Dallas, but I need to see a friend in college. Um, they are in Fort Worth, and I got a buddy that stays in Fort Worth. I think Houston. So I need to go there. I don't know when, but if I do, check uh, my community news and my my my. Um, my website at DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. If you click events, 
It'll show you what's happening, like what videos are coming out or what challenges we're going to do. Um, I do have the challenges for the UK on there already, so the, the, the events are on there. Um, but if I do go on a trip, I usually put it out community news as well as a newsletter. Uh, just sign up for the newsletter on my website at the bottom. There's a newsletter sign up. You sign up, it'll send you a, an email to verify that it's you. It might go to your spam or your your uh, another folder. I don't know what the name of it is. But then what you do is just, just drag it to your primary. Uh, but um, I do newsletter. I put out Facebook. So if I go your way, if you see me going your direction, email me. Uh, Brandon Clark 1976 at gmail.com and I try to uh, inform people when they do email me if I'm coming their way I'll let them know exactly uh, what time I'll be at a challenge if you want to come to a challenge and insider if you are in the United States and I'm about to do a challenge and it's like 12 o'clock challenge 1 o'clock challenge I'm usually at the nearest McDonald's close to that challenge I'm pretty much close to that challenge at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. So if you come up there, drink coffee with me if you want to drink coffee for a couple hours and head to the challenge, It's uh, that's just usually where I'm at. Thank you very much, DGBs. Just have a great trip, Brennan and Bob. Hope you guys have a blast. Well, thank you very much. We're already doing pretty good. Um, so I do thank you for tuning in. And if you see me come through Arkansas, DGB, let me know. Um, through an email and maybe um, maybe we can link up. Beerface Studio says, this is Brian from Vegas. I changed my screen name because I'm focusing on my drumming uh, YouTube content more this year. Glad you guys made it safe. Well, thank you very much. Well, hey, Brian. And a lot of times when people change their, their, uh, their YouTube name, uh, it's really difficult for me to, to remember the person they was before because you change your whole identity so now my brain is still thinking your last name's not that so it's really it takes time for me to to to, to figure things out like that but uh but thank you very much and hopefully your youtube channel does really good and thanks for uh thanks for joining the chat jamal says what up b Got any fish and chip speed challenges planned? I think we do. I think we do. I think we have a sponsor. Shannon Lee wanted us to do a, a, a fish and chips. So that is definitely on the list. We might do a bangers and mash if we have some extra time. Uh, might do some extra videos if we get flaked out on some of these challenges. We might have to find something, just make something happen like we did tonight. Um, so I, I think you're still going to get some action-packed, jammed videos of just all kinds of stuff. It was kind of a fluke that we did get a video that late at night. Usually people are not that, that are, are open in a restaurant that late at night, but it was a Friday. Right next to Center Square Marlboro. Center Square Mar Marlboro. Marlboro? Marlboro. 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 Is it Marlboro or is it Marlboro? I think it's Marlboro. Marlboro. Near Center Square Marlboro. Near... City Hall or something he said, didn't he? City Hall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Diesel, what is happening? In Australia. I might be in Australia next year. Who knows? Eli, Eli might already want to come, and uh, Bob's still on the fence. Got it? Okay, we got Bob in here. It's already on. It takes, it takes a minute there. Two in there. <laughs> I think there was an ad earlier or something it was backed. Yeah, boom. Oh, all of a sudden I'm there. There we go. Oh, it's a little choppy here. Hopefully it's not that bad. You guys are too nice to me because this does not look too great on my computer screen. Okay. How long are you in England or the whole UK? Uh, we are in pretty much the 
London up to Manchester. Is that right? About, about halfway up. So we'll hit the coast. We might, not touch, we might yeah. not touch Liverpool, but near Liverpool, we'll hit Manchester, then we'll hit Leeds. And then when you come down between, there's a city called Birmingham, which uh, we'll Alabama. hit on the, on the way back to London. So it's a loop spending the middle part of this, like three, three and a half days at least. It's up in the air? Up in the air, around Beard. So I know we're, we're doing things with Beard. We don't have times locked down. But he is in Leeds, and there's, like from our hotel, I think we can walk to three different challenges uh, from our hotel. So we, we have, we're going to have plenty of opportunity to do things when we're not doing something with Beard. But my understanding, he's, he's hoping to come out to watch some of our challenges, <clears throat> even outside that range. Yeah, probably want to get some techniques. Probably, what, yeah, he wants to learn how to eat, probably. Yeah. And he, he has a problem, like, the distance. Oh, yeah, the like, it's like this. It's like a, a phobia of his. The computer looks real big, don't it? Yeah, it's like he's got a... Allergic. Yeah, so we'll hope, we're going to hopefully work on that with him. I want to we should find a mural. Like, we came to England to see that mural. Maybe it's fake. I want to do the mural, but there's really no challenge near it. Uh -oh. I looked up where it was. And they have a lot of cool murals, murals with other famous people that have had a mural done come get their picture with the mural. Oh. So that would be pretty cool getting Beard's picture. With, it would mural. be. We visit it with them. Yeah. Like a shrine. Light a candle. We, we could like be security, you know. <laughs> Eating anybody that, that tries to approach Beard. John says, I like the stickers on the laptop there, Brandon. They're very cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, the Man vs. Food London has a few of the stickers just like this on their um, refrigerator deal. They're, they're going to have a lot more if we don't get... Yeah, oh. Get, get yeah, all see. over the windows. But <laughs> Jack, they owe us money, so we have to go back tomorrow. I don't like IOUs. They owe us T-shirts, too. Yeah, what's up with the T-shirts? I told me, see, they, they're like playing Slay to Hand or something. I totally forgot about the no. T-shirts. Because I didn't have a T-shirt to sleep in. I love sleeping in T-shirts. I have to wear one of my own shirts. Yep. Which I love, but... You know, I can. I tried this on before we left home. It's like tighter and, now. And after that ten pound burger. Oh and yeah. That curry video. It's it's suddenly tighter. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm Already. Going to be able to wear this the rest of the trip. I think the sizes are different over here. I think it changed sizes on you. I think it's wrong. <laughs> Lacey says, "I said it three times. It's so funny." Well, what what what'd you say? Let me see. Let's go. Going to need two bathrooms in one room after all these challenges. There's a tub. There's a tub. There's there's ways to do things with one bathroom. I think there's one down. No, I don't know if there's one down. There might be. I don't know if there's one downstairs. Hotel lobbies is always clutch. Yeah, you go down there, use theirs. You use theirs, and it's usually a single use. So one person I they got a Kleenex toilet paper system here. I thought all of the UK did, but they don't because the the man versus food had a role. But yeah. they have Kleenex style here where you pull the Kleenex one thing at a time in there. It's frustrating. It's like a little napkin what is, what thing. What about the grocery store? How was that? Uh, the grocery store. Oh, I just used a urinal. I didn't use the TP. Yeah. Is it cold here? They're like... 55 it wasn't yeah, bad like for, for for Brandon and I it's no big deal but I would say it's chilly for people it, there's no got, muscle if you don't have any it's muscle got a, a wind wind can uh, bother you but like we only only pack shorts and I did pack a windbreaker I got I got pants I got pants I brought pants I was like you know what I'm bringing three maybe three, three pair of pants I bought a pair of jeans couple pair of socks I mean couple pair of um, uh, shorts I got two maybe three pair of underwear because one last four days, and I was going to be here 10. This is the most underwear I brought on a trip, I think. Four pair. Dang. You wear, if you didn't know, guys, you wear one pair of underwear four times. No, three pair, I think, I brought. Because one, you wear it one this way, you switch it around, and then you turn it inside out. You wear it one way and the other way. So that's one pair. I'm going to give you a tip what I use with underwear. <laughs> you throw them away? I bring one extra pair than the days I'm traveling. 
But you bring your old underwear. You wear so your old... You, you bring your old underwear. So you wear your old underwear. And every day you just throw out... Throw, like the holes in it? The ones, yeah, holes in the it. The 10-year-old ones. throw it out. And then you, got more, you do have less a cushion. Weight. You have one left in case you, something happened. Oh, you missed your you, flight? You couldn't, you couldn't hold over because you did something in that underwear. No. So you have an extra cushion... But meanwhile, you packed, like my size underwear, I'm making this up, say it's three pounds for 10 pairs of underwear, whatever they weigh. Well, you're getting rid of three pounds of stuff in your suitcase, allowing you to add three pounds of whatever. Yeah, like, like my like business cards, I'm, I'm going to be lighter on business cards. Every right. sta every place, even the review, I gave them a stack of business cards. The lady at the last one, at the members, she thought I was joking. I said, no, I said, they're all yours. <laughs> yeah, big stack. So no. See, my goal is to buy a lot of toothpaste here. He's not lying. A lot of toothpaste. You can like only buy it here. So if you want 20, 30 tubes of toothpaste, I'm buying it. And yeah, it back. He might sell it on eBay or something. I don't know. Maybe sell them to you if you want to buy some toothpaste. Hey, you from you want to get the good toothpaste you can't get anywhere in the United States, I'm the guy. <laughs> Put your order down. <laughs> he splice them all open at the airport <laughs> like there's drugs in there. But here's your toothpaste back. Oh, you got an autograph Panini Americana card. Wow. Was that a Black Friday card? What kind of card was I autograph? I autographed several Panini cards. Oh, there's more than eight likes in here, Connie. I think there's, I think it'll refresh. There's like at least. Nine. <laughs> and Dustin, don't worry about it. I don't own the um the signal, okay? I don't I don't own the, the whole antenna of the of the uh phone server. You didn't know that? They say that it's because it's sucky internet, like a sucky service. Because you own it? Yeah, I, no, they don't say I own it, but but I think they think I own the or I made sure this this was a a bad signal. Because I don't want them to have a, bad, a good signal when I go live or something. Bareface Studios, my dream is to hit the buffet in Vegas with Brandon and Bob. We can make that happen. Yeah, if you ever see us what going buffet? to Vegas, if you see us going to um, uh, Vegas again, either of us, email either of us and we can try to link up. Because okay. there's, still, there's still a lot of stuff in Vegas I want to do. Not just challenges, just some good buffets. Not just buffets, like good buffets, where, like, you know, let's try to eat, you know, 15 lobster each. One that got mad because I didn't eat no seafood. Tasha ate all those crab seafoods. I said, I don't eat seafood. It's, it's overrated. But I supposed to have seafood. I'm like, I don't want to sit there and look stupid cracking, cracking seafood all day. Oh, yeah, crab legs is rough. But lobsters, you can pretty much get through. Yeah. Um, someone says, how much you gained... Oh, and thank you very much for the proud subscribers you both. Chance, thank you. Um, how much you gained since you started? Magnus, what you see, how much weight? I think I'm about the same weight when I started. I, I was an up and down. I was riding a bike for a while. I lost weight. Uh, I'm at 250 now, maybe 259. <laughs> maybe a little heavy. Um, but it's a lot of ups and downs. I've lost a bunch of weight since I started. However... Uh, I was losing weight for this trip, and today I feel like I gained, I'm going to gain a solid three pounds from just today's filming, which was one real video and one light video. Like when you're eating all that bread and, and hamburger meat, that's a lot. No. Now yep. Hopefully my body processes it and like forces it through so you don't like absorb it, but Sometimes I have problems with my, my body just keeps it in there and just it'll be in there for three days and so that it ends up being absorbed all of it. And thanks, Jason, for the two dollars. Uh, get some British McDonald's. I can't I can't um, promise you anything about getting British McDonald's all the stuff we have planned. If stuff falls through though, we're gonna have to go to KFC, to McDonald's, to, to different spots and try some different stuff out. So I do know, I know, I know if something falls, I know we need to go to Greg's anyway, no matter what, I need to do Greg's. 
um, and uh, the fish and chips that we got planned, and I, I don't know what else, but we, we will we will try to maybe hit some to see what they taste like. I don't know. We we got to go with like bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. Like that's that's a traditional English. That roast thing, you know, if we could just get a whole family roast meal or something, I don't know. But that was just be sitting talking the whole time, though. There, there is a good one Beard did. It's probably like an hour from where he lives. It's a pay to play. Yeah, is it roast? It's like yeah. There's like a lot of. It's like a barbecue one, say. Oh, okay. With like a lot of different stuff. Um. Somebody says something up here. Um, um, there was one other one I saw something about. Jake says you guys should chug Campbell soup cans world record maybe. Um, what is this bomb on the fence? Where? Two down. Here? Yeah, Bob, get off the fence. What's wrong? Is that from um, Australia? I said something about. About you're on the fence about maybe you next year oh, in Australia. Oh, gotcha. I'm not sure. Maybe that's what Connie was talking about. That's not usually not in the fence. So that's a strong fence. <laughs> uh, on that fence. Saint says. Because to, to me, that is a solid two weeks. Yeah, it's like, like a week getting you know, there. Oh, yeah. back. Like well, a week like, worth of. Like, don't even consider going if you're not going two weeks. Yeah, I'm going to go more. I'm going three, well, well, four. I'm you know. Like, I would like I'd want to be able to do three weeks, and then that's a big if it might work, if I can get three weeks off. Yes, Lutton, you made it for another 15 minutes, maybe. We're going to jump off here in a minute because it's 1.30 a.m. Um, let's go to Saint says, so I know Bob is going on Breaking Beard podcast. Are you going to have a challenge with Mr. Beard while you're over here? I don't think so. I think uh, he just wants to... Um, to get some tips how to eat better or something. Um, I think that's why he's meeting up. Um, no. no. We're, we're going to do a, uh, several challenges, actually. They, they're not announced yet, so they're not finalized, but <laughs> one is the quickest to shave your head. Yeah. And then quickest to shave your beard. Okay. That's, uh, uh, you might win. <laughs> uh, how tall are you? Who, you? Yeah, <laughs> just between the two. Between beard and I. Oh, who's the tallest? Oh, that's oh, that's another. another yeah, okay, well, aside from those, I don't know of any <laughs> any other challenge I could compete with Adam and. And we like mess. I think Adam likes mess with us because we mess with him so much. I think he likes the uh, the banter. I I think Adam, the unprofessionalism. Is, well, <laughs> he, he he, I think it's a lot of compliments and he realizes he's not the best eater um just like brandon and i realize we're not the best eater wake up call or something uh, oh. you know some <laughs> some eaters will go oh thank you when you say they're the best eater but we we know we're not the best eater um <clears throat> so when we tease each other we know like we would say the same thing about ourselves that i'm saying about Brandon or, or uh, Beard. For instance, I don't care how many food challenges I've won. I j I'm just always have won one more than Brandon. Like so, whatever he did. I uh, just, yeah, I got to write that down. I think you're at 479. 470. I'm up to 470. I'm at 478. So he 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 already knows what. Ch I'm at 479. Yeah, he's a, always one more than me. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, if man versus food couldn't do it, I'm not sure if we could. No, but John says, have you guys ever done the Stuffy's Breakfast Challenge? Man versus food could not beat that one. Just asking. Like the guy on man versus Yeah, food? he's not good. <laughs> the thing about yeah, it, the thing about right. that show is they like those people because you never know if they're going to lose or not. Like they'll lose 60% right. of them. So you don't know if they're going to win or not. Usually, if you watch us, we're probably going to win... 99% of them. If we knew we were going to go into a food challenge weeks ahead of time, we would, we would win every food challenge. There's none that we can't beat. However, getting called in the spur of the moment, there's times you, you were told it's waste. 
nine pound pizza and it turned out it was a 20 pound pizza and you just weren't ready for that so those are the ones we would lose um but there's no reason he should have lost that man versus hood good night jay bone thank you for tuning in um make adam eat an appetizer instead of dessert oh man that would be our That'd dream. That'd be nice. Dream collab with him. That would be nice. He would be freaking out. That's always mess with people. I say, oh, if you're not confident, usually order after. Oh, my goodness. People still don't see that as a flex. Yeah, a lot of people, the man versus food thing, if they lost, like, oh, man versus food lost. Um, I guess some people just think that might be the person, if they don't know any professional eaters, like that's the guy. To beat, you know, he could do it. Cause I've been to some that's told me that. Oh, he he did do it. I said, oh, that's what. That's how I do it too. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, I well, I get I my pots back. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lee, how you doing? Says have fun, guys. We will first day with Bob here. Um, so we are going to uh, we're going to do it up. We're going to paint the town. But we're going to jump off here soon. It is 1.34 a.m. You got to show them, like, like how, they don't know how we travel. And, like, there's a certain hierarchy of our travel. So, like, for instance, a certain person gets a certain bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. A certain person gets an, another bed. Well, then you're taller and you're bigger. You're, so like, two like, foot you taller. Show, you want to show, like, the bed. I could show. I could I show. show the bed I bed. look like I'm in a hostage, uh, like in a... <laughs> A POW camp. Okay, this this is the big, the big old oh the big old bed of mine. And look at look at Bob, Bob, look at Bob. Yeah, so that I think that's a couch bed. But I want to say this is better than having one bed because the room last night had one bed and it was just me here. So we do got two bed. We pulled some strings. I've um, got two beds. Brandon did a lot of work at this morning's uh, breakfast buffet. Yep, yeah, Bonnie. Bonnie, the uh, you, front Bonnie. desk, helped us get a room. She she really enjoyed listening to all me talking, or she pretended to at least. Yeah. No, but she knows I got two channels. She knew about the Philly wing champ. You know, he came in knew who he was. She did. I'm telling you, she recognized me as soon as I walked <laughs> off the elevator. She didn't do it like I said, though. I said, hey, when he gets here, when he gets here, yell, the Philadelphia Wing Bowl champ. She didn't do that. I said, do you know who this is? And then she says, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm puzzled. Champ. Even though I know Brandon was involved somehow, I'm still puzzled. Literally, the elevator door just opened. How, how do you know who I am? <laughs> You're recognizable. <laughs> no, but I talk, I, I talk to pretty much a lot of people here. And uh, that's everywhere I go, that's just what I do. Um, that's why I have so many subscribers now. Just one one vote at a time. Sub them up if you're not subscribing. I honestly, I, I wish I had this on camera tonight. Somebody canceled this challenge. They did cancel it earlier today after committing to it five previous times. So day of, they canceled, which of course I was on a plane, so I couldn't even get any emails. We go there. It's a small town. There's like not a lot going on in this town. Brandon talks to uh, an owner, and within 30 seconds, Free food. we're filming in the store <laughs> with whatever we wanted, because the owners were so proud of their food. Yeah, 9 p.m. They just felt if, if we gave them an accurate review, it would pay off in, in multiples for them. So they, they just gave us free food in the menu. We reviewed the food. Said what we liked and what we didn't, and it's it's good food. Like it's it's truly good food. We had several people recommend it, and like that's the crazy stuff that happens when you're in Brandon's world. With me, I just would have turned around when I saw the stores closed and gone back home. But instead, I got some good cur curry. And yeah. What I have, Paul? What was the palm ala? I don't know. Palm ala. <laughs> it sounded like a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. That is so good when you put on the the uh, pomodon mink. Pomodon is it mink sauce? 
Mint, the mint stuff? The mint stuff, the mint sauce or whatever? I wasn't like a fan that. too much. It was cold. It was cold. It was, it was surprisingly cold. cold. But I wasn't too fan of it. Was, it was okay. But um, I, you got to watch the video, I guess. My mistake is I didn't put the spice on the mint. I, I didn't want I didn't want to try the spice. I, th I don't know if I even tried it on camera or not. I smelt it, I think. It wasn't really hot. I don't like the smell, the taste of the pepper, though. Like, whatever, okay. you know? All right. Okay, we're going to jump off here. But, uh, Elizabeth, thank you very much. I just saw you um, coming in. And um, we are going to have to jump off here. Like I said, it's 1.30, 1.40 a.m. Uh, but I do thank you very much. Hopefully, we didn't wake the neighbors up over here. Um, but with that said, guys, hopefully I can go not live next Friday. Um, I didn't. I don't see a bad um, reception here. They were saying the, the whoever said I was owning the, uh, the the service towers. He didn't say. They didn't say that. But okay. Well, guys, we're going to get out of here. Thank you very much. Uh, but I, I really appreciate it. We'll, we'll update you for the the, the garbage gang slash wigwams. I'll try to go live uh, a couple times uh, for you guys on Facebook as well. So thank you very much. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to NotoriousB.O.B., please uh, look in the descriptions of this video. I will put his uh, link in here in the next five minutes. So thank you very much, and talk to you later. And Facebook, too. Facebook? Were you on Facebook? No, I was on YouTube. This is and, YouTube. And the face? Can you do the Facebook point, too? Your link? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Brandon's got the skills. All right. Trying to pump up that uh, stag. <laughs>